is a life of service to our brothers and sisters in need. This service is animated by the Holy Spirit who gives us various gifts for the building up of the body of Christ, which is the church. The gifts that we have been given should therefore be used in service and not in domineering others. The Lord Jesus Christ says to each and every one of us today, when you have done all that we are ordered to do, say, we are worthless servants. We have done only what we ought to have done. Luke 17, 10. In our life of service, we have the wonderful example of our Lord Jesus Christ. He did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his own life as a ransom to many. He did not expect a reward. But what happens to us, human beings, when we have done something? Oh my gosh, I sent a card to my niece, to my mom. She did not say thank you. I have I have heard people saying, I have served the church, but no even a priest who has ever said thank you. Yes, we deserve that. But the fourth point should be, whom am I serving? I'm serving Jesus. I don't care if you come and say, Father, thank you or not. I know whom I'm serving. I cannot be angry because someone has not said thank you. Because it is a service and I'm serving Jesus Christ. In his very life, Jesus, he taught us service when he washed the feet of his apostles. We are all servants, my dear brothers and sisters, not bosses. St. Paul expresses this very, this very well when he writes to the Corinthians who are getting into the temptation of personality, cults, and struggles. He himself did the planning, Apollos did the watering, but God is the one who gives the growth. We should all look up to God. We should all look up to Jesus. Someone approached me, Father, what is going on in the church? I'm leaving the church. I said, okay, but I'm not leaving. I pray that even if all the people disappear from the church, I will remain because I did not become a Christian because of other people. I became a Christian because of Jesus who died for me and who died for you. That is the one we serve. Indeed, St. Paul teaches us very well because what is the use of planting if there is no growth? What is the use of watering if there is no growth? In all our activities, my dear brothers and sisters, we are to recognize the hand of God who helps and supports us in our life of service. It is not to us, but to him be the glory. Whatever we do, Jesus has to be number one. Do your best every day as a Christian and God will reward you abundantly. That's why every morning we come over here to pray for our country, to pray for each one of us because we are servants. We are not bosses.